I hope you're all fantastic. Today, we're gonna hear the TDLX and the B-Man modules from Synergy side by side. These are their Fender inspired modules. And I think for a lot of people, myself included, building a Synergy system, you're probably looking at these and going, I want one of them for my lower gain tone, but which one do I choose? Which flavor is gonna be right for the sounds that I want? Hopefully I can help you answer that question with this video. I'm gonna start out with my Strat on the neck pickup and we're on the blue channel of the TDLX. The rest of the signal chain as always is in the video description. What I'm gonna do is start out with the EQ controls all at noon. The Gain control is at about three o'clock because this is a really, really clean channel on here. The three-way switches are both in the middle. This is what we get. All right, a few little tweaks there for this guitar. I would dip the bass and the mid-range a little bit, bump a little bit of treble, and then there's this switch labeled T. You flick that one up, and to me, it just sounds like an awesome kind of thumpy low end that you get out of it. For me, I don't tweak this channel with a Strat too far beyond that because it gives me this great, punchy, round, warm, glorious, clean sound. You know, all the adjectives apply here. Let's hear it. <laughs> And just dip the bass control a little bit more over here. And I like that big fat neck pickup sound for clean stuff. I'm gonna switch over to neck and middle, which is the other place I live with a kind of clean strat sound. So let's hear both of those. Let's uh, add some studio magic here. I've got the H3000 micro pitch shift on post everything. So this is gonna stereoize everything. We get this. That's wicked. That is like my kind of favorite 80s inspired clean sound that I can get with any of the modules here. Let's flick over to the deluxe mode on here and I've turned the detune off. Uh, this to me is great for those uh, kind of bluesier Fender moments, like more the Stevie Ray kind of ecosystem in there. Uh, I can't play like Stevie Ray, but uh, all the EQ controls are at noon here, drives uh, at about, well, it's at about three o'clock as well. So let's just have some fun. Now with this, I love ripping that gain control all the way up, boosting some mid-range and pulling out just a little bit of bass. I find this is actually tolerable on the bridge pickup on a Strat as well without totally slicing your eardrums to pieces. <laughs> Something like that anyway, you know, makes me want to pull a stank face. Uh, you can play around with the little three-way controls on there. This, this is with the T-switch down. <laughs> Now 
This is with it up and with the bright switch down. There's lots of combos here. <laughs> Now that's really kind of cranking that SAG control there. If I want a little bit more clarity, I could turn that down. Or I could do the opposite and I can crank it up and really, really, really get a kind of, you know, oozy. Lots of kind of gooey gain on tap there. Let's go over to the B-Man over here. It's got a little bit of that kind of gritty chime happening on there. If I bring the gain control up, I'm gonna bring the sag control back down to a kind of moderate level on there. We have the SAG control cranked on both of those. Uh, we get this. That's with the EQ at noon. I'm gonna bring the bass down, I'm gonna bring the mid-range up, and you know, this is more your kind of Marshall JTM 45 territory here. The red channel is gonna give you more of this flavor. I'm gonna lean into this kind of gainier sound and then I'll pull it back for more of a clean thing in a second. But it's pretty obvious there, like the B-Man has more of that uh, slight British flavor about it. Like there's more chime going on there, whereas the uh, T mode of the T-DLX is just that fat, punchy studio style clean. Uh, so mids cranked, bass down, gain up. I'm gonna pull these settings with the gain back a little bit. This one cleans up nice with the volume control too. Ugh. Losing the ability to speak. This is, uh, this is what good tones do to a man. <laughs> a little bit lower, the mid-range pulled out, the bass bumped up on this particular blue channel of the B-Man. We get this. Now, of course, with the even tight on top of all of that, I'm now playing on the neck and middle position of this guitar. Finally, let's go over to the red channel of the B-Man and I'm gonna crank the gain up on this and set the EQ the same as what we just had there. Something like that, where are these switches set? Uh, this is really, really cool for a kind of Marshall style thing. Again, JTM 45, Baseman, they have so much kind of shared heritage. Uh, let's check out some gain. I'm gonna kick in the Eventide Eclipse post for some delay as well. This is glorious. <laughs> deluxe mode of the TDLX with the gain all the way up. So basically this module definitely has a lot more gain. You can get a kind of legit Marshall style, vintage Marshall style tone out of it. Let's say that 
Whereas this one definitely has more of that kind of boxy fender characteristic going on. We haven't heard these with humbuckers yet, so I'll grab my Les Paul and I just kind of want to focus on the crunchy tones here. We'll go between the red mode of the TDLX and we'll go to the red mode of the B-Man. I really want to see how martially I can make this B-Man for kind of like more of that, you know, ACDC style crunch. And then I think we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Now that, the way I've set it up, kind of has that farty low end. I'm gonna hit the T-switch all the way back to the middle. Kind of cleans things up a little bit. There's not a massive amount of compression on that gain sound. If I go over to the B-Man though, there's a lot of compression happening. <laughs> Let's clean that up. Bass, low, mid-range and treble cranked, kind of plexi style. Uh, let's leave the gain at three o'clock. This is what we get. <laughs> That is nasty. There's some hair in there. I'm going to bring the treble back. I'm going to hit this bright switch up and we get this. <laughs> lead to high gain for me, don't they? Uh, let's hear some clean humbucker tones to finish up. I'm just going to go back to the blue channel of the TDLX again. Neck pickup of this Les Paul. That's a pretty nice fat clean sound right there with some uh, rubbish playing to accompany it. Let's hear the B-Man on the blue channel now. You can hear there is just this inherent little bit of breakup in the B-Man there. That is with the twin mode on the TDLX module cranked and that is with the gain only around like three or four on the B-Man. So yeah, you can see what I'm getting at by now. Like I'm at the stage now where I think people have probably heard either module and been like, yep, yeah, that's the one for me or that's the one for me or maybe neither are the ones for you. You know, there's a bunch of other great clean modules in the Synergy system. Uh, the OS is a great one to check out for that kind of dumbly clean thing. And the other one, that I was really, really surprised with the clean channel of is sort of like the low gain mode of the ecstasy module as well. So anyway, getting getting ahead of myself. You can go and watch those videos of those modules that I've done. That's what's going on with this particular unit. For me, the TDLX is that point of difference for me where I've got other amps which kind of do the basement thing. The TDLX with the Uber shell cover all the ground that isn't covered by the other gear I have. Like they're the unique ones to me. The twin mode on here does that big, fat, punchy Fender style clean sound so well, takes pedals really, really well, can do the kind of, you know, rack style cleans that I want out of it. And then the deluxe does that gritty Stevie Ray thing really well. The B-Man is, you know, perfect if you like more of the kind of, dare I say, Marshall style clean sounds. And I have a JTM 45, so, that sounds in that ballpark to me and it's probably the reason why this module is going to go back and why the TDLX module is not going to go back uh, along with the Uberschall and a few others. I'll have to do a video with that 
again to everybody who was kind of wondering about what these modules are best at hopefully this video kind of answers that question uh, let me know in the comments anyway and if you want to see some more synergy content as always let me know in the comments if you want to support the channel links to my patreon and the music i make in the video description have a great day i'll see you all next time